What happens when the misfit spies at Slough House come face to face with a dangerous assassin, hidden family secrets, and betrayal within MI5? Slow Horses Season 4 throws River Cartwright into his most personal and deadly mission yet. As his family ties are pushed to their breaking point and Jackson Lamb fights to protect his team, the season takes us on a journey through shocking twists, betrayals, and the darkest depths of MI5's secrets. Today, we'll explore the finale's jaw-dropping reveals, analyze the motives behind MI5's shady decisions, and discuss the fates of some beloved and not-so-beloved characters. Plus, we'll dig into what the future holds for River Cartwright and Jackson Lamb as they face new threats. Spoilers ahead. This season dives deep into River Cartwright's family history, turning it into a twisted personal affair. In previous seasons, we've watched River struggle with his place in MI5, always trying to live up to the legacy of his grandfather, David Cartwright, a former MI5 legend. But in season four, River's personal and professional lives collide in the most dramatic way possible. River's journey starts with a shocking discovery. His father, Frank Harkness, isn't just some disgraced mercenary. He's the leader of a death squad comprised of his own sons. Um, this revelation is both horrifying and heart-wrenching for River, as it unearths deep-seated family trauma. The introduction of Frank Harkness and the fact that River has three half-brothers who were all killed adds an entirely new layer of emotional depth to River's character. For years, River has been trying to escape the shadow of his family, but now he's forced to confront it head-on. Let's not forget the painful decision River had to make regarding his grandfather, David. As David's mental health declines, River is forced to place him in a care home, despite his fierce resistance. David Cartwright, once a powerful figure within MI5, is reduced to a vulnerable old man. But is it all just an act? Throughout the season, viewers are left wondering whether David's dementia is genuine, or if it's a cunning ploy to escape the dangerous political chessboard that is MI5. The core conflict of this season centers on Frank Harkness's return to the UK. Frank has one goal, to eliminate anyone who can tie him to the Westacres bombing, a disaster that left many dead. River's grandfather, David, and Sam Chapman, a key player in MI5's past dealings, are at the top of Frank's hit list. While Sam tragically doesn't make it, Jackson Lamb's team rallies to protect David, unearthing a trail of corruption within MI5 in the process. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. We learn that MI5, despite knowing about Frank's role in various assassinations, let him walk free. Why? Frank has blackmail material, evidence that could expose British intelligence's involvement in secret assassinations, a truth that could destroy the agency's credibility. This revelation shows just how far MI5 is willing to go to protect itself, even if it means letting a known killer roam free. Frank Harkness's motivation for silencing Chapman and Cartwright is rooted in a decades-old grudge. Back in the day, Cartwright refused to work with Frank's death squad, which set off a chain of events that led to personal retaliation. Frank seduced Cartwright's daughter, fathering River, and when Cartwright tried to intervene, everything spiraled out of control. The West Acres bombing, which Frank's son Eve botched, became a ticking time bomb that Frank needed to cover up fast. But what makes this conflict even more compelling is how it tests River's loyalty. In a tense, edge-of-your-seat standoff, Frank offers River a chilling ultimatum. Join his mercenary group or die. River's decision to reject his father and stand by Jackson Lamb and the Slough House team shows us where his true loyalties lie. River's journey has always been about finding his own path, away from the expectations of his family, and this moment solidifies that. One of the season's most heartbreaking moments is the death of Marcus Longridge. Marcus, who had been struggling with gambling debts for much of the season, sacrifices himself in a deadly showdown with Frank's mercenary, Patrice. His death hits the team hard, especially Jackson Lamb, who, despite his gruff exterior, fights for Marcus's family to receive full death and service benefits. This moment is a reminder that despite Lamb's often abrasive leadership style, he deeply cares about his team. The subplot involving MI5's shoot-to-kill order on River adds even more tension to the season. New leader Claude Whelan, fearing that River had gone rogue after being captured by Patrice, authorizes the kill order. Even Diana Taverner, who's known for her ruthless pragmatism, is taken aback by the decision, knowing that River wouldn't betray them. 
This moment underscores MI5's disregard for the lives of the slow horses, seeing them as expendable assets, unless, of course, Jackson Lamb steps in to protect them. Ending explained. The finale leaves us with some major loose ends. Frank Harkness, though momentarily free, is now a broken man. He's lost all his sons, and while he talks about rebuilding his organization, his future looks bleak. This is a man who's been driven by revenge for so long that he's burned all his bridges. Whether he will return as a threat in future seasons remains to be seen, but for now, he's a ghost of the dangerous man he once was. As for River, he faces the emotional aftermath of learning the truth about his father. This knowledge will weigh heavily on him moving forward. The scene where River signs paperwork for an operational bonus from Jackson Lamb serves as a symbolic moment. It's Lamb's way of bringing River back into the fold, acknowledging his sacrifice and loyalty. David Cartwright's story also leaves us with questions. Um, his placement in a retirement home may seem like the end of the road, but was his dementia real, or was he manipulating the situation to protect himself? This uncertainty adds an intriguing layer to David's character, making us question how much of his behavior was genuine and how much was calculated. Catherine Standish's return to Slough House is another significant development. After resigning earlier in the season, her decision to rejoin Lamb's team suggests that she, too, can't escape the pull of Slough House. Her steady presence will no doubt be vital as the team moves forward, especially with the loss of key players like Marcus Longridge. So, what does this mean for the future of Slough House? With MI5's corruption more evident than ever, and the team facing personal losses, the road ahead looks rough. Jackson Lamb and his crew will need to stay on their toes, as the threats are far from over. The good news? Uh, season 5 is already filmed and is expected to drop in 2025, so we won't have to wait too long to find out what happens next. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more recaps and analyses. And drop a comment below. What was your favorite moment from this season of Slow Horses? How do you think River will cope with the revelations about his family? Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.